That's right, that's me, Willie. From the UK! Internet man-child. I'm actually quite scared of heights. And lover of tasty bite-sized morsels. I'm a fan of your work, Norman. As MLB Europe's food critic at large, I'm heading to the US of A on a trip of big bad baseball food business. Mm. Food, folks, and fun! The mission? To create a ballpark menu so delicious, so tasty, that it features at the MLB World Tour London Series in 2023, where the St. Louis Cardinals will take on the Chicago Cubs on June the 24th and the 25th. Starting for the Cubs, right? <laughs> this is Home Plate, London Series menu. After a long night taking in things that will settle my stomach, I'm up and I'm raring to find out all there is to find out about the baseball situation here at Bush Stadium, the food situation, and I'm here to chat to some lovely people. So without further ado, let's go and see some dingers and maybe chow down on some grand salami. Hello, Gail. Good morning, Willie. Welcome to Baseball Heaven, home of the St. Louis Cardinals 11-time champions. OK, what are you going to show me first? Let's go for a walk. Gail is a tour guide here at Busch Stadium and an all-round Cardinals legend. It's the Cubs versus the Cardinals tonight, the Route 66 rivalry, and she's giving me an all-access tour. No room is off the table. I'm just going to see if they've left this open. <laughs> they haven't. But maybe the clubhouse is a room too far. I think we're sitting there tonight. Behind the Cubs dugout? Behind the Cubs dugout, indeed, yes. You uh, can practice all your uh, cardinal calls there. Yeah, well, I might just shout at them, try and put them off. What, what normally gets them? You might remind them that Cardinals have 11 world championships. I, I, is there a way that we can say that in a sort of catchy way? Like, we've got 11 world championships. How about you stink? You stink, that'll probably just, that'll do it. Was she talking about my armpits or the Cubs? Either way, it's my time to shine in the broadcast booth. Get up, baby, get up, get up, get up. You might say, go crazy, folks, go crazy. Go crazy, folks, go crazy. That's a winner. That's a winner. And then, of course, sit down, shut up, sit down, shut up, sit down, shut up. To the Cubs fan, of course. To the Cubs, well, yeah, obviously not to the Cardinals fans. Wow. OK. This is, I'm already, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Call me Ed Sheeran because I'm thinking out loud. Can we stand for one second on the grass? You can't stand on the grass, you can't touch the grass. Gail, it's clear to me that you are probably one of the bigger Cardinals fans out there. So much right. so that I have it forever emblazoned. Oh my God. I'm thinking I need to get a matching one. This is a baseball town. Last night we had 44,000 plus. Really? So quite a big fan. And this weekend with Cards Cubs, it's yeah. just crazy because it's the people, derby. people come from Chicago to watch, all the St. Louis fans come to watch. So it's pretty exciting in here. Well, now the lovely Gail has filled my brain with knowledge of baseball and its history. A man called Norman is going to fill my belly with baseball food. Chef Norman. Really good to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure. Now, as you know, I am looking for some inspiration to ah. take, to take mm -hmm. back to the United Kingdom. And it seems like you have got a lot of inspiration for me. We have a whole lot of Midwest and a whole lot of St. Louis on the table for you to try today. Lovely. Can you talk me through a few of the, uh, the bits and oh, the pops? Absolutely. What you have in front of you are two versions of our Air Burger nachos. This is a classic version that has nacho beef, sour cream. Over here, we got a little variation, the Midwest version. We smoke our own poor pork in house for every game. You need to try one of these, man. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i glad you said that because they <laughs> look really, really, really good. But also, eating nachos with a fork seems weird, but I'm going to do it. There you go. Best thing about it is the flavors are from the Midwest, but they are good anywhere in the world. I'm feeling inspired. We're just getting started. I got more for you. Nice. Baseball fans are spoiled. Folks didn't pay to come standing on your line. They came to come watch their teams. So when you're going to do baseball food, you need to make it good and you need to make it fast. Here, you have eight sliders with tater tots. Obviously, you get the all beef patty, but the best thing about it is we have garlic aioli on these. Oh, okay. Now, you know you got to take one yeah, of those. Yeah, I'll just make sure. Yeah, so I just need to make sure that all the things you're saying this are true. Sure yeah. Are Delicious sliders, Norman. Got things coming, Nav. 
That's really good. You said you needed flavor. I do. You said you needed something unique to take back to the UK. I that do. It came from the Midwest. Absolutely. This is the St. Louis barbecue bacon dog. You got a hot dog wrapped with bacon, barbecue baked beans. You have two pickles, pickle de gallo, barbecue sauce, a mustard aioli on top, and to top it all off right up. Is it covered all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of your work, Norman. I'm certainly a fan of Chef Norman and his ballpark goods. Dare I say, I've got food for thought for my London series menu. I've had a lot of food, I've learned a lot about baseball, but now it's time to see what the fans are saying. And there is a lot of them. Uh, what's your favourite ballpark food? Well, hot dogs, obviously. Hot dogs. Hot dog. Cargo dog. Nathan's hot dog. There's no answer that's correct except the hot dog. You know, nachos though. Nachos are pretty good. Chicken nachos. Nachos. It's gotta be the nachos. Do you like St. Louis style pizza? Yeah, probably. Do you like lying? Have you had a St. Louis pizza? Yes. Did you like it? Yes. I don't believe you. Have you tried a St. Louis pizza? Yeah, it's garbage. I like this city. I'm growing very fond of this city, but my god. Who is gonna win tonight? <laughs> Tonight, he's hitting six tonight. Oh, I, just, I tell you what, I'll just I'll put oh, this like that. Do the shots on me, I swear to God, bro. I'll buy six for six. Yeah, hey, you've been awfully quiet. Come on, what are you saying? Six for six. Uh, which one of you four would win in an arm wrestle? Good strong boys here. Good strong boys. Good strong boys. Oh my God, the power, the sheer power, the power, the power, the power. Oh, they're still going. Someone's arm's gonna break. Oh, crumbs. I can really feel the testosterone levels rising as this rivalry is about to begin. Go baby. Cardinals, baby! Go Cardinals, Go baby! Cardinals, baby. Woo! Yeah! But before it does, I'm meeting a man known only as The King to teach me the classic ballpark tradition of hawking. Now, when you, when you hawk it, yeah. you gotta have a stick. Who rolling with the king? Okay. The real thing! Man alive, it's drinking time. <laughs> can yeah. you do that? I reckon so, yeah. Let's see what you come up with. Okay. I'm... Let's see. <laughs> Who wants a lager? That ain't gonna work, man. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. You, 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 need, you need working on it. Who wants a lager? Anyone for a beer? I don't know if it was my English accent, but compared to the king, people didn't seem that keen on my newfound hawking abilities. Anyone for a beer? Getting a bit thirsty now. This lady was impressed until this. No, I'm from London. Really? Oh, you've got a bit of an accent. A bit of an accent. You say my name, you say Laurie. What's Laurie? Oh, back where we are, that's a big car. You know? <laughs> no, I know. You're lovely. <laughs> she wasn't lovely. Oh, back home. Can you give a tip? Oh, man. Cheers, bruv. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Ah, a whole dollar, just for me. How generous. Clearly, Hawking was very thirsty work, but by order of the king, no drinking on the job. Do you think I did all right? Uh, <laughs> Grass Harper? <laughs> yeah. You carried out of kindergarten? Yeah. You ain't grade school, but you ain't made high school yet. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you very much. See you, much. baby. Nice Send a little dog in the hall up here and say, hey! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it was just about time to sit down and enjoy the game, but the Cardinals had yet another fantastic experience for me. The Lucio! <laughs> Woo! Right, so I'm about to go there and fire some t-shirts at some American people, I assume. Go on! <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, we got... I used to fire apples at sheep with my mates when I was like eight, so I don't know what I'm doing. Wait, we're going to try and get it in that man's hat. Oh, okay. Let's go. We're going a bit flat on this one. OK, you ready? Yep, yep. Ah! Yes. Nice. So we're going again. We're going again. Oh. This was my first time watching an MLB ball game and the atmosphere was in fact electric. And now I'm very much looking forward to the London series. The 0-2. <laughs> Left field. Did he get enough? At the wall and caught. Oh, so and the Cardinals welcome Will Hughes as our fan of the game. I've somehow agreed to play a massive pub quiz in front of 45,000 people about London tourist attractions. 
It's brilliant, it's bizarre, and very baseball all at the same time. Hopefully I can answer at least one question correctly. Can you tell me the top three London attractions? The London Eye. Well, that's embarrassing. Big Ben. Buckingham Palace. Listen, I'm not stupid. Madame Two Swords. I'm a big waxwork fan. Is it what he said. Oh, no, it's not that. Oh, no. One more whammy and you're going to strike out. The Houses of Parliament. Oh, show us. What was that last one? Oh, Westminster Abbey. No one goes there. I have never been there in my life. That's not a real place. I've also never been as embarrassed in my life. Oh, my God. I've had quite the day, it's been wonderful, I've learned a lot, I've eaten a lot, I've met a lot of people, but the game's going on and uh, for some reason I'm now like a bit into baseball, so I'm going to watch it, so I'll see you later. If you've never been to a ballpark, put it on your bucket list, it's ruddy marvellous. We've got passionate fans, there's a plethora of food choices, and the spectacle of baseball in a ballpark this big, it's got my creative culinary juices flowing. What's this going to be like in front of 60,000 people in London? Probably good! Next time we head on down to a Frontier League team with an extremely big claim within the ballpark food world, will it deliver?